Hello everyone. In our previous video, we discussed about the migrating the framework to the new version of the Cucumber library. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can re-implement the custom runner. So let us discuss the steps which we followed while creating the custom runner. So first we created the class called custom test ng cucumber runner. This class has the same code as of test ng cucumber runner. Along with that, we also provide the implementation for the method which will do the filtering of the feature file. Then we create one more custom class that is custom abstract test ng cucumber test. This class has the same code as of abstract test ng cucumber test. Now instead of using test ng cucumber runner, we use the custom runner which we created here. So this was the approach which we followed. Now if we use the same approach with the new version of cucumber library, it won't work. And there are two reasons behind it. The first reason is that, as you can see here, the test ng cucumber runner is a final class. That means I cannot inherit this class and cannot redefine its implementation. Secondly, this class uses two new classes. The one is pickle even wrapper impel and second is the cucumber feature wrapper impel. Now both of this class has the access specifier as default. That means I cannot access this class out of this package. So in the current approach, first we will create a custom class that is custom abstract test ng cucumber test. This class will have the code same as of abstract test ng cucumber test. So first let me create a new package and create a custom class. And inside this package, I will create a custom class. And let me call it as custom abstract test ng cucumber test. So the code base of this class will be same as of abstract test ng cucumber test. So let me copy this entire code to the custom class. Now, if you look at this class, there is a method called scenarios, which read all the scenarios and create a data provider out of it. And the method which will read and create a data provider out of all the scenario is provide scenarios. So if you look at the implementation of this method, after reading the feature file, it will read the scenarios and create a data provider of it. But before creating a data provider, it will wrap the information about the scenario in an instance of pickle even wrapper impel. Also, it will wrap the information about the feature file in an instance of cucumber feature wrapper impel. So let us debug this particular method to understand what the information which we can extract and use it accordingly for the filtration of the feature file. So here I will create an object to DRA and just capture the information which is being returned from here. So I'm going to put a debug point over here and use this class in our generic runner. and run this in a debug mode. So if you look at the implementation of provide scenarios, in the two dimensional object array at the zeroth location, the information will be wrapped in a pickle even wrapper impel. And at the first index, the information will be wrapped in a cucumber feature wrapper impel. So if I use data of zero comma zero, I can extract the instance of pickle even wrapper impel. But as you can see here, this is a default class. So I cannot access this class. Instead, I can access the interface that is pickle even wrapper impel. As you can see, this interface is a public. So using data of 00, I can get the instance of pickle even wrapper. And similarly, using the data of 01, I can get the instance of cucumber feature wrapper impel. And this class also have the default as a access specifier. But as you can see here, it implements an interface that is cucumber feature wrapper, which is a public one. So I can get the instance of that. So this will have the information about the scenario 
and this will have the information about the feature file and I'm going to use this to to extract the required information and put the filtration accordingly so let me stop the debugging and make some changes here so here first I'm going to extract the pickle event wrapper so data of 0 0 and I'm going to typecast it similarly for the cucumber feature wrapper typecast the data of 0 1 So as we know that data is a two dimensional object array at zero index there is an instance of pickle event wrapper impulse and at the first index there is an instance of cucumber feature wrapper impulse and using the interface I'm just going to typecast it to get the type as pickle event wrapper and cucumber feature wrapper. Now let me put a debug point again and run this in a debug mode. So using the cucumber feature wrapper, I can extract the information about the feature file. So here I will use cucumber feature wrapper dot to string. And using this, you can get the title of the feature file. Similarly, using the pickle event wrapper, you can get the information about the scenario and its step which is currently being executed. So pickle event wrapper dot get pickle event dot uri so this will give the information over the location of the feature file similarly if you want to get the name of the scenario so dot pickle dot get name so this will give you the information about the scenario current scenario now similarly you can get the information about the steps of the scenario by using get step it's a list so I'm going to call the get method with index and dot get text so this is the first step of the scenario so I'm going to use this to interface to extract the required information for creating the custom runner 